my gravestone can move. Your gravestone? Do not lay claim to the belongings of others. Right. And let me guess who you think this ship belongs to. Incoming! Dropping out of hyperspace! It's... it's a lot! The Eternal Fleet. They aren't firing. Ugly ship. What are you waiting for? about that hyperdrive. Lana, work the shields, and we need a gunner. I'll take care of it. Stabilizing. There's a capital ship near the center. I see it. Good. Now hit it. real. We could take the whole fleet. Statement. The hyperdrive now meets minimum functionality requirements. Why didn't you say so? Alright, let's get out of here. More than two dozen ships lost in a single shot. So that's the gravestone. As powerful as they say. Everything stands at risk. Sakul, the throne, my vision for the galaxy. All because we let the Outlander slip away. I'm not blaming you. I didn't think you were. Father held us all back. You more than any. Such raw power. And yet you're still spreading your wings. Finding your limits. Nice to be appreciated for a change. So, what now? Now, I act.
What's happened? The hyperdrive worked. One time. Omni cannons fried too. What a mess. We're safely away from the fleet, if nothing else. Should be able to make it to asylum, but let's not hold our breath. I thought you were supposed to fix it, not apply a temporary patch. It's the best anyone could have done. We'll have more resources when we reach our destination. Asylum is a skyport. A safe haven from Arkin's patrols. Was she really necessary? She helped us raise the gravestone. She fought at our side. She also hunted me like an animal for years. She was Arkin's loyal knight. I thought I was in service to Zakul. You had abandoned your responsibilities. How many people did Arkin slaughter while you still served him? How many? We're comparing body counts now? I'm not sure that's a game you want to play, Vortana. If anybody needs me, I'll be... somewhere. You could have at least consulted with me first. Yes, I wonder how that might have gone. Absolutely! I'd be glad to fix the gravestone by myself. Your display of power, it concerns me deeply. I hope you've considered that its use must come at a cost, a very personal cost. I'm in control, and I'll always be in control. I wouldn't be so certain. Valkorin may prove to be of some use, but he's no less dangerous than when he was alive. That's why we need all the help we can get. And Senya will be a great help. I hope you can see that. You could have let me know we had backup on the way. I wanted you to encounter her without my guidance, to see if you saw her as I did. We met shortly after I arrived in Wild Space. Senya was hunting Koth. I was hoping to learn your fate. We exchanged what information we could. This was all before I really knew Koth, of course, years ago. You were looking for me all that time. Is it really any surprise? Uh, I was looking for a hyperdrive matrix processor assembly. You probably haven't seen one in here. I'll keep looking. You may want to look in on Koth. And you should get to know Senya. I'm not sure if you'll hit it off exactly, but I think you'll find her intriguing.
Why can't there be a maintenance manual? Hey, can you get the power? Right over there. Thanks. Wouldn't want to electrocute myself on top of everything else. She's really something, this ship. But no one's been taking care of her. You've grown attached rather quickly. No offense, but it's the gravestone to save the galaxy from market. Not you, not me. Definitely not Senya. Lana believes she can help us. That's enough for me. Hey, I trust Lana. I think the world... Look. I'm just saying she might not know Senya as well as she thinks. Senya acts according to... I don't know what. Her own narrow concept of justice, maybe. Even if her objectives align with yours, it doesn't mean she'll do what you need to get done. Believe me, just don't forget who dropped everything to storm the spire and help Lana pull you out of Carbonite. Alright? That was your choice. I never asked you to do any of this. You're really not hearing me. I should get back to it. I need to be sure the gravestone can get us all the way to asylum. Hey, if Senya shines that narrow spotlight of hers on you, check your shadow. changed in five years, and I doubt it ever will. Meatbag bickering. Agreement? You said it, Master. Report. I've taken on the task of exploring the ship's interior. Analysis. There are many sealed passageways, and I am unable to detect what may be on the other side. Worth looking into at some point. Revelation. I discovered an especially strange area. Unlike anywhere else on the gravestone, I had attempted to ascertain if any of its contents could be weaponized, but the new meat bag interrupted. Query, any orders, Master? Make sure Lana has everything she needs. Assurance. I will endeavor to see to her right away. I couldn't help but take this place in either. Reminds me of a song I wrote. I feel like I'm being watched. I can stop looking at you. Maybe that will help. There. Better? No? Worth a try. 
You seem nothing at all like the person I met in the swamp. Being a knight means everything, but I don't let it define me. When it's time to go to work, I'm who I need to be. The rest of the time, I'm just myself. You don't strike me as all that different. I'm always me. It's as simple as that. I think that's fine. But expect your sense of self to be tested if you confront Arkin. I know why I oppose him. What's your reason? Years after the death of our immortal Emperor, most are still so afflicted with remorse that they don't see what's happening. Arkin has become oppressive and cruel. He'll crush anyone who doesn't share his plan for the galaxy. So that's me. What about you? Arkin took five years of my life. Turned everything inside out. He has to pay. I know what that's like. Not exactly, but I see where you're coming from. You're not what I expected. Not sure if that's good or bad yet. But I do know I'll have an easier time with you than Koth. If either of you makes this difficult for me, the gravestone is equipped with several airlocks. When the time comes for us to confront Arkin, that might be just the kind of conviction we'll need. Valkorion lives. He is not himself, nor has he taken a new body. It is difficult to see, and yet it is unmistakable. His presence in the Force has always been deceptive. Like on the Yavin moon. Yes, and many times before and since. Even when my life depended on it, I did not see him properly until it was too late. 